Anyone need a checkup? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, or welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And today, I just want to do a full-on latex pink nurse, and play with my favourite colours, pink and purple, and do something super duper, like, smoky, over-the-top, and dragtastic, and... Yeah, this is the transformation that I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me and subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. I know I haven't quite managed 31 days like I want to do this month, but don't worry, there's still gonna be a lot of looks coming and so many other looks that I have planned and there's just so much content that's gonna be on the way on my channel. And honestly, I just feel so inspired to keep creating content, so. Stay tuned for the rest of it. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation and thanks for watching. So I'm going to be starting this look off with a freshly cleansed and shaved face as always and I already have my coloured contact lenses in and I'm wearing my Ms. Cracker t-shirt because um, girl, latex outfits are so warm. So after adding a little bit of hydration, I went in with my favourite Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer and then went in with my orange toned colour corrector just to cover that 5 o'clock shadow. It's also really good for hiding dark circles, and coffee's really good for making you feel awake when you haven't been sleeping, girl. So I have my giant grumpy mug ready to go. I then just lightly powder down the area that I put that colour corrector, just so it doesn't bleed through my foundation. And then for my foundation, I went in with my gorgeous full coverage Cryolan TV Paint Stick in the shade 3W for my base, and just buffed it out with a brush with a little bit of rosehip oil on it, just to make it look nice and dewy and glowy. And then I used 406 for my highlight shade, as usual, and 7W for my contour shade. I do have a full coverage highlight and contour routine which I will leave in the description box down below but I spritzed my skin a little bit more with that Mario Badescu spray since um my face just felt so damn dry today girl and then just buffed the rest of all that out and then I went in with my giant Real Techniques body blender literally a life-changing makeup tool and just heavily set in place using my Coty loose air sperm powder extra coverage. Don't breathe it in though not pleasant. And then I just quickly filled in my brows of camera and topped up my caffeine levels. And then for my brows, I took a little bit of this purple from this Marvelous Morphs palette from Dose of Colours and just ran it through too since I knew I wanted to wear that purple wig. So, um, yeah, just had a little bit of purple into my brow. I then also took that mid-tone purple shade to start off the eye look. And I first winged it out really heavy, but I uh, wanted to do something a little bit different. So I made it look a lot more rounded and kind of buffed that away on the edge. And then I took the deeper purple in the palette and just packed that all over my eyelid as well as lower lash line. And then took that really light purple in the palette and just buffed over the edge just to make everything look super like sultry and blown out and smoky. I then took this much like deeper shade of purple and just packed that all over the eyelid just to build up a lot more intensity and depth and definition. And girl, my eyes were watering so much. Like my body was just not wanting to film today. My skin was dry. My eyes were watery. Like... It can't make up its mind. But I kept going back between those three shades and just building it up. And then I took that really dark plum shade in the palette and just packed that onto kind of the outer V of my eyes just to make everything super smoky. And remember, it's a drag look and a Halloween look. So um, the more smoky and over the top and the amount of makeup you put on, the better. I then took this gorgeous gothographic highlighter from Wet n Wild and just packed the kind of pink shade and the white shade on the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bone just to kind of add that like nice iridescent glow and to bring something a little bit different than what I would normally do. And this is where my eye really started to like 
fuck me off, girl. Like, it was watering and messing up the makeup so bad and making it look patchy. But um, I threw winged eyeliner over it anyway, which was very uneven. And then set it down with a black eyeshadow. For my contour, I took my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Kit and just heavily chiseled out my around hamster face. And then bronzed up using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I brightened up that inner portion of my face using the light shade in that Makeup Revolution palette. And then heavily packed blush everywhere, girl. Like, I love blush when I'm in drag. So, um... Yeah, I went for it. I then really poorly attempted to contour my nose, so uh, yeah, we'll just skip through that. And then highlighted using that white shade that I use on the inner corner of my eyes, as well as the pink shade. And then I laid a little bit of the sleek highlighter on top, just because I wanted to glow from the heaven. And I've just been into, like, super iridescent and fun-coloured highlighters recently. And then for my lips, I couldn't decide between pink or nude. But, um, yeah, I was a basic bitch. And I went in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. And topped it with the MAC Myth Lip Glass, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then, yeah, that is the finished look. All you gotta do is pop on a lashes or a wig and change into my little latex nurse outfit. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for bloopers. Anyone need a checkup? Ow, that actually fucking hurt. Ooh, just a little prick to the mouth.